Hi friends, today we are going to see about the colonial history behind the word Aya. Aya is a very common word which has been used to represent grandmother or grandma in various parts of uh, North Tamil Nadu and close to Chennai and other areas. But it's an interesting thing to know that this word Aya has a colonial history behind it. So the colonization in India was kick started by the Portuguese first. The Portuguese settled in the Malabar coast of modern day Kerala. The Portuguese had a lucrative trade which soon caught up with other European powers like Dutch and the French. The English were the last to come. So when the English East India Company settled in Madras, the locals can't say them as white guys because everybody was white from Europe. So the translators of the Dubash asked the French guys who were in Pondicherry, just 150 kilometers high from Madras, where uh, the British guys have settled down and asked them how do they call the new guys in town. The French guys said Anglais. The Tubash converted to Tamil and say Anglais girl. The East India Company official initially came as single man and made a huge fortune with the families in Britain. Leaving family in Britain was due to the long journey around the African coast, which was infected by hurricanes and pirates. So once the Swiss Canal opened, the East India Company officials were able to bring their families to India. Now they needed someone to take care of their kids as nanny. I means is a Portugal name actually uh, for housemates who take care of kids. A typical East Indian company of officers had two ayahs for each kid and one contemporary account stated that uh, it is eight times cheaper to have made in India compared to Britain. The East officials wife had their life as a Victorian dream of sipping teas and biscuits in the hot afternoon. So they needed nannies to take care of their kids. The ayah broke the racial differences of the period and grew closer to the kids. The English kids took up local languages and local customs from the ayah. The Madras ayahs were the, of high demand. The ayahs accompanied their British families to Britain during their vacation and mostly they travelled back to India. But in some cases, the British families simply abandoned these ayahs in, in Britain. The deserved ayahs begged for food and shelter. This was so much that the British government took the matters in hand, set up a lodging facility for ayahs to stay and find a new job or earn enough money to back row back to India. Why did these ayahs risk such a journey? Well, if the British family is a good one, they have an opportunity to see the mighty British Empire and also earn a handsome money because the wages during these trips are really high. And ayah is someone who worked with the British and sometimes this word is been connected to a colonial past but like uh, working as, an, uh, uh, as a slave uh, or as a, someone under the control of a British officer but still these ayahs are the one who tied humanity over the skin of colors. The British kids showed immense love towards the ayah irrespective of the racial difference and the word ayah even now used in Chennai and surroundings stresses that love can exist between people of different color and that colonization has creeped into the local language and with the fight around the world regarding the color of the skin this word says that we can still live in harmony thanks for hearing today's video guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe bye